Hello. Today I'm going to take you through the crocheting of a, a little angel using craft cotton, which is iron weight, a four millimeter crochet hook, <clears throat> some stuffing for the head, a darning needle, um, and your scissors, and liquid fabric stuffener for stuffing the angel. So she's crocheted in one piece basically. Crochet the head first of all, down then under the body and then onto the wings. So as you can see it's pretty soft. <clears throat> so they make it that it can stand up, then you've got to block it and stuffen it. So it's a case of giving yourself a plastic bag, pouring in some liquid fabric stuffener and the bag and then immersing the angel in the bag. Let it soak overnight and then you'll need to get yourself a wee plastic cone or I just made this up with acetate. Slip it up on the side the angel to keep her scared out and then block her wings then so that when the pins are taken out then the, the wings are stiff and that way then they're able to, she's able to stand up. So to begin with we'll use the craft cotton and make a two chain nice and loosely. There's also a pattern for the angel as well as the video tutorial. So keep this first loop nice and loose. And then we're going to start here with two chain. So yarn round and pull it back, it's one chain and then the second one. And under the first uh, chain that you made, we're going to work six double crochets. So the second chain down is one, two, which is the first one that you made. And work six double crochet stitches in there. Double crochets, no yarn around the hook, straight in and bring it back through the two. And back into the space again, back through three and then four. And then five and then six so when your six double crochets are in then you're going to join with a slip stitch and under the first two loops of the first double crochet so make sure you pick up both loops there catch your yarn and bring it back through everything so now you have six at the end of the round it'll tell you that the many you should have then you should count them as well to make sure you've got the full total round two starts now with two chain which at this stage counts as a half treble the new stitch that we're going to work now on is half treble and we're going to do two half trebles and do each stitch the whole way around and join with a slip stitch so two half trebles and the each stitch wool around your needle and then under your two loops bring it back through wool around your needle back through two and the same again back on the same stitch and again you're using half trebles we'll run your needle in and bring it back through we'll run it through three two stitches and the every stitch and you can see that you're increasing so you started off with six stitches at the end of this round you will have 12 stitches So yarn round and then under the two loops, bring it back through, yarn round and through the three, yarn round and back in the same place, bring it back through, yarn round again and back through all three. So at the end of that row you should have 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to join now with a slip stitch under the first stitch and bring it back through. There we go. So at the end of round two, we have 12 stitches. And now round three, two chain and half treble and the next half treble, which is the same one. And then we're going to work, oops, two half treble and the next half treble. So the next half treble gets two. And we're repeating six times. 
So we're repeating one half treble, two half trebles. So one half treble, and two half trebles. One half treble and two half trebles. So we're increasing again by putting two into the one stitch, and at the end of this round, we will have 18 half trebles. So it's one, two, one, two. One. And two. Two and the same stitch. That's an increase. One half treble in the next one. And two half trebles in the next one. So we're going to join now with a half with a slip stitch and the first half treble. So we're not using the two chain, we're using the first half treble. So pick up the first loop and then pick up the second loop and slip stitch through. So at the end of that round we have 18 half trebles. Round 4 is chain 2 and again that's telling us we're not counting this as a half treble so you've got to go under the base of that as well. And half treble, 1 and each stitch the whole way around. So you'll have 18 half trebles in this round. So we're not increasing in this row, we're working one half treble into each stitch. By the time we get to the end, we'll have 18 half treble completed. And then we're joining them with a slip stitch under the first half treble. There we go. So that's round three done and four done, now we're on five. So round 5, 6 and 7 are the same as round 4. So we're back up to round 4 again with chain 2. And one half treble under the base of that stitch. And that's not an increase because we're not using the 2 chain when we come to the end of the row. Half treble under each one again. And 18. So when your 18th half treble is completed, miss the two chain and then you're working on under the two loops of the first half treble, which is pretty tight here for some reason. Back through the whole lot and tighten it up. So the only time you really tighten up is after a half treble, or sorry, after a slip stitch. So round five, now we're in round six. So back to row four, which is chain two. And then half treble under every stitch. There'll be 18 half trebles in all by the time you get to the end of the row.
18. So slip stitch on the top of the first half treble. And then that's round six done, and we're in round seven. Round seven is the same as round four, two chain, half treble and every half treble, slip stitch to join and 18 trebles at the end of the row. Eighteen. Then join with a slip stitch on the top of the first half treble, and then that's row seven complete. So eight now with a half treble over the next two stitches. So it's yarn round and in, pull it back through, yarn round and in, and pull it back through. All five off. So that's half treble over the next two. I've just showed you how to work it and then half treble half treble decrease as before three times more so we have one two and three three times more and then half treble in the next half treble. And then half treble decrease four times. So that's one, two, three, and then four. And then we're going to have 10 half trebles at the end of that row. Half treble in the last one. That makes your 10. Join with the slip stitch in the very first one. And then we're going to stuff the head. So. We're going to stuff the head firmly but not overfill it. Or it'll stretch it out too much. So we'll not put it all into one go. So get a piece and make it under like a wee bird's nest. Put your thumb up the centre of it. And then push that up and then to the head. Right up and as far as you can get it to go. Put my thumb through it there. So just if that happens, take it out and put it on again then. So when that's on now, the space that your thumb was on, in the centre there, just make a hole in the centre of the stuffing. That's it. And then pop on the next bit then. And this is just stuffing from an old cushion that I have washed and um, opened it up and dried it out. And it just means that if the thing has to be washed, that the stuffing won't shrink because it's already been washed and again push it up inside so stuff it firmly but not overfilling it 
and I just use the hook around so you're not stretching out the cotton too much and roll it under the ball and if you're happy enough with that that's okay but if you find any areas that are maybe a bit soft just take an olive piece and pop it inside so you can push over the side that's short and stuffing and then put a wee piece in the middle so that's row uh, 8 done and now row 9 so row 9 is one double crochet and eight half treble so we're not chaining or anything in this row we're straight in double crochet 10 stitches so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that's the ten double crochets done now and the remainder of the angels work so don't clip off at this stage keep your yarn on so we're on row 10 now and we're going to chain four which counts as a treble and a chain space on this and all the following rounds treble in the next double crochet and chain one nine times so we're going to make 10 one chain spaces um starting with four chain and one treble into the next double crochet and then chain one so we'll run your needle for the treble and bring it back through yarn around and through two and yarn around again and through two chain one yarn around your needle and the next double crochet bring it back through yarn around your needle back through two stitches and yarn around your needle and back through two so chain one and and the following stitch chain one treble and the following double crochet and chain one treble and the next double crochet and chain one treble and the next double crochet lift the two loops every time and chain one and then the next one so at the end of this we're going to have 10 chain 1 loops so we've got 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 just checking if we had to use this last one 9 and then the chain 1 forms the 10th loop so we're one two three up into the third chain one two three and then slip stitch to close the row so we now have the head and the first part of the body and we're moving on then to row 11 so slip stitch under the next chain one space so just under chain one space slip stitch then chain four and treble in the same space so starting this row 11 we slip stitched under the chain one space we worked four chain and one treble back in the same place again and treble one in the same space and chain one so the next thing we do in the next chain space we're going to work treble one treble chain one twice so treble chain one and we're doing that twice so it's treble and chain one and we're going to repeat eight times from here so in the next chain one space we're going to work a treble a chain a treble a chain and at the end of that we'll have 20 chain one spaces so we're actually doubling the amount for the shoulders so treble one chain one treble one 
chain one and the next chain one space one treble one chain one treble one chain and the next chain one space one treble one chain and one treble if your yarn splits take it back out again and just work the stitch again chain one and then treble one chain one treble one chain one treble one chain one treble one chain one and the next chain one space treble one chain one treble one and chain one then on the next chain one space one treble one chain and one treble then chain one and the last chain one space now is one treble one chain and one treble and one chain so we're going to join now with a slip stitch and the third of the four chain from the beginning of the row and at the end of this row then you'll have 21 chain spaces so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so we have 21 chain spaces at the end of this row <coughs> So that's row 11 completed and we're on row 12. So slip stitch in the next chain one space. And then chain four again. One, two, three, four. And you do that twice. So you go back, treble in the next chain one space and chain one. We're doing that twice again in this one. And chain one. So that was the four chain treble one chain one treble one chain one treble in the next chain so there's only one treble in the next chain and then chain two and then we're going to skip six chain one spaces this is for your shoulder so we're going to be skipping six so that's one two three four five six which means we're going on the seventh one i guess we have been four separate ones there yeah treble one in the next chain space and chain one and that's done twice so it's uh in the next chain one space not the same one so it's one treble one chain, one treble, one chain, and one treble in the next one. So what we've done here now is we've slip stitched under the chain one space, which is here. Then we've made four chain. Then we've done a treble in the next chain one space, which is this one, and then chain one. And that twice means treble in the next chain one space, which is this one chain one and then one treble and the next chain one space <clears throat> the next thing we do is make two chain and then we're skipping the six with shoulder so it's one two three four five six and then the seventh with one treble one chain and we're doing that three times <coughs> so it's one treble one chain once one treble one chain twice and one treble and one chain three times one treble in the next space chain two and skip six one two three four five Oh, that should be there. 
one, two, two times there. So we have four trebles and four chains, and then we're going to make an extra chain here before we skip the six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Join with the slip stitch and the third chain up. There we go. So now you can see we have the head and the shoulders are now formed and this is the start of the body. So that's round 12 done and we're on round we're on the skirt now and round 13. So we're going to slip stitch in the chain one space, which is here. Chain five and treble in the same the treble there in the same space. So that's a beginning V stitch. In the remainder of the spaces we're going to work one treble, two chains and one treble. So that's now a V stitch. So it's just in the next space one treble, two chain and one treble. Straight over to the next space which is your two chain space here. And we're working one treble, two chains, and one treble. Over to the next chain one space, and that's one treble, two chain, and one treble. And then on the next space, it's one treble, two chains, and one trebles. And then the next space, it's one treble, two chains, and one treble. And then on the last space then, which is a two chain space, work one treble, two chains, and one treble. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch up in the third chain, one, two, three. One, two, three, and slip stitch. So that's round 13 complete. So round 14 now is slip stitch in the next two chain space. And work a beginning V. So the beginning V starts with five chain. One, two, three, four, five, and then one treble back in the same place again. So that's your beginning V. So the beginning V here is, um, that tells you there what it is, there, there we go, and then we're going to do beginning V in the same space, make one chain this time, and then the two and two space of the next V, V stitch, so V stitch is one treble, two chain, and one treble. So before we go to the next V, we've got to make one chain. So we're increasing slightly. And then on the next V stitch with your treble, two chain, and your treble. Then one chain before we move over to the next V. One treble, two chains, and one treble. Chain one, move over to the next V. One treble, two chains, and one treble. So you're working this the whole way around. Chain one before you go to the new V. Treble one, chain two, treble one. Chain one, and treble one, chain two, and treble one. Then chain one before you move to your next V. And then chain one after the V. And now you're going to join with your slip stitch again. So it's one, two, three, slip stitch. So at the end of round 14 now you should have 
eight V stitches. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight V stitches. And then we're ready then for 15. So 15 slip in the same chain two space as the V, which is just on here, slip stitch on there. So beginning V again, five chain. And one treble in the same place. Right, so we know 15. We do a beginning V. Two chain this time. So it's one, two, before you do the next V. So you're increasing again in this row. So it's two chains between the V and two chains in the V. Two chains. And V stitch and V stitch. Two chains and then V stitch and a V stitch. And then two chains before you do the next V stitch. And then two chains again before the next V stitch. And then two chains again after it. And then two chains again. And on we go. One treble, chain two, one treble for the last V. Then chain two before we're going to do our slip stitch. A slip stitch is done in the three chain of the start one two three and slip stitch so that's round 15 completed <coughs> we still have eight v stitches except they're separated now this time with the two chain you can see it's a much bigger space than the previous one so 16 slip stitch into the two chain space And then begin on V again, which starts with our five chain. One treble in the same place. Now, so this time we're going to chain six. One, sorry, we're not, we're not doing the five chain this time, we're doing the six chain. Sorry, I didn't read on. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then your treble so that counts as a treble and three chain that's why we're doing six this time treble in the same space beginning chain that's a beginning chain three v stitch made so we're chaining two and in the chain space we're changing our v this time so our v is still one treble but it has three chains this time in the center and then a treble back in so we're still working two chains between the V's and the actual V itself is one treble, three chain and one treble. So we can see in this round now that the V is much spread out much more because of the three chain. Two chain then to move over to the following V, then three chain again. And the three chain are in the center of the V. And then it's chain two. One, two. And over the next V, which is one treble. Three chain. And one treble. Then between the V's, we've got two chain. And now in the V, we have three chain. One, two, three. And then the second treble in the same place. Then chain two, and then over the next V, which is one treble, three chains, and one treble, all in the same space. Before we move over, we've got to make two chain, and then on for the final V, which is one treble, three chains, 
and one travel. Then two chain them before we join up with the slip stitch. The sixth chain at the beginning of the row we still work up to one, two and three and the third chain and then join with a slip stitch in the third chain. So that's round 16 done and now round 17. So round 17 the slip stitch under the three chain space and we're going to begin with a three chain V stitch which means we're making six. One, two, three, four, five, six and the treble in as well and then we're chaining two now three chain v stitch in the next v so we're back to the same row as the previous row is treble one three chains two three and treble back in so we're still doing two chain between the v's and three chains and the v same as the previous row one, two, three, and treble back in to complete the V stitch. And then chain two and treble under the V stitch. Three chain in the stitch, and then one more treble back in again. Chain two and treble one. Chain three and then travel one. Then three chain. Sorry, two chain. Sleeping. And again, travel one. Chain three and travel one. Chain two. Travel. 3 chain and treble and chain 2 again before we join up with our oops, there's another one to do treble 1 3 chain and treble 1 chain 2 and then we're ready to join up so our 6 chain at the beginning of the row we're counting up one, two, three, and slip stitching into the third one. And that is round 17 finished. And now we're on round 18. So round 18, slip stitch under the next three chain space. Three chain. And in the same space, we're going to work two treble stitches, which is one, two, two chains and three more trebles all under the same V stitch. So that's one, two, two, three trebles. So those three trebles are done now in round 18. And then we're going to chain two. And then in the next three chain space, three trebles, two chain and three trebles, which now is referred to as a shell. So it's three treble stitches, one, two, three. After you've got two trebles, three treble stitches done, you're going to work two chain and then another three trebles. One, two, three. And before we go over to the next V, we have to chain two. And then we're back in again. So basically it's like a corner of a square. Three treble stitches first. And then two chain stitches. And then three more treble stitches. And that's what will work the round. Two. Three. Chain two. And then treble three. And then chain two. And treble three. And 
and then chain two and then into the next v-stitch again with three trebles two chains and three trebles and then two chains and then three trebles two chains and three trebles Then chain two and back and again to the following V with three trebles. Two chains and three more trebles. And two chains and then the last V now we have three trebles two chains and three trebles and then the last two chain before we join up with the slip stitch and the top of the third chain from the beginning of the row. So you can see now that our angel's taken shape and that's round 18 done and then we have 19. So for round 19 we're going to slip stitch and the next treble. So we slip stitched already on the three chain. We're going to slip stitch and the next treble. We're also going to slip stitch Slip stitch on the next treble, chain one, and double crochet in the same treble. So, chain one, double crochet in the same treble, three chain, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next two chain space. So, we're doing three chain, one, two, three, skip one double crochet, and double crochet in the next treble. So chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next two chain space. And chain three, skip the next treble and double crochet in the middle one. Chain three again, one, two, three, and double crochet in the two chain space. Chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the middle, double the middle treble. So all the way around now we're working three chain, one, two, three, and then under the space we'll work on a double crochet, chain three, miss one treble and double crochet in the middle one, chain three again and double crochet in the middle of the two chain space, and three chain again and double crochet in the middle middle treble here, chain three again and double crochet in the two chain space, chain three, skip one and double crochet in the middle one, chain three and double crochet in the chain two space, chain three, miss one treble and double crochet in the next one, chain three, miss one and double crochet in the chain space, chain three, miss one and double crochet in the middle treble, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the chain two space, 
chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle one. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, double crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 1, 2, 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle treble. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle one. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle treble. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle treble. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 3, miss 1 and double crochet in the middle space. Chain 3, miss 1 treble and double crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 3, miss the first treble and double crochet in the middle treble. Chain 3, and double crochet in the chain 2 space. Chain 3, and miss 1, double crochet in the middle, treble, chain 3, and double crochet in the chain 2 space, and chain 1, 2, 3, and slip stitch under the first double crochet, and top off. Yarn round, back through the stitch to secure it, a good tug. And then you're going to use your darning needle. Make sure and leave a good length on so that you have something to weave in. And I like to go up the thick parts. And I like to go away from the end of the garment or the piece. So I just go through the thick bit here now. Tug it well in. And bring it through. And we're going to clip. There we are now. So that's the end of round 19 done. And that is the head, the shoulders and the skirt of the angel completed. So the next thing we're on now are the wings. So we're going to hold the uh, angel with the top of the head facing you and rejoin the yarn to the first unused space on the shoulder. So the first unused were here on the shoulder, now we're back up here. That one's used, that one's not. So that's your first one that's not used. So when we start here now, um, we're, on, we're on the wings. So wings and row one. So row one starts with five chain, which counts as a treble and two chain. So five chain, one, two, three four five and then a treble in the same space as a joining one so we did the five chain in the first free space and we're going to also work a treble stitch on there as well um so that's to us to there in the next chain one space we're going to work one treble two chain and one treble so the next chain one space is here so it's one treble two chain and one treble and it has told us to repeat that three times more so it's next space one treble two chain and one treble and the next space for the third time one treble two chain and one treble so that's it done now one two three three times more so it'll give us five one two three four one more to go and so we've got one treble two chains and one treble So you'll remember that at that time we skipped six, but we're only using five. 
the actual sixth space is not being used. So we can look at it here in this angel. The sixth space is not being used because when you lie the angel down, it, 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 it lies much better. It lies much flatter if you haven't used the last stitch. So at this stage, just remember you've only five spaces used and not the six. So five, two chain spaces. So it's one, two, three, four, five. We have five, two chain spaces here at this bit. And the sixth space is not used. So that's us out of round one, or row one. And we're in row two now. Slip stitch, so we're turning. So we're going to slip stitch under the first two chain space. So just under the first two chain space, slip stitch. And then we're going to treble, th or sorry, chain three. One, two, three, which counts as a treble. And in the same space, we're going to work one treble. Two chains. And one treble. Sorry, two trebles. One, two. So we're here now. So we've just made three chain. And in the same space, we're working uh, one treble, two chains, and one tre two trebles. That's a beginning shell. So if you have to make a beginning shell again, that's it there. And then in each remaining two chain space, we're going to work two trebles. And this is our shell again. Two treble stitches, two chain stitches, and two treble stitches. So that's under each remaining two chain space. So it's we've got two trebles. Two chain and two travels. So we're over now to our next V and we'll work on the shell again. Two travels, two chains, and two travels. And then on the last space here, we'll work on two trebles. Two chains. And two trebles. So at the end of that row, row two, we have five shells. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five shells made and we're going to turn now. So we're on row three. So row three starts with skip the first treble, slip stitch under the second treble. So we're skipping the first one and just slip stitching under the second one. And we're also slip stitching under the two chain space. So we have skipped the first treble slip stitch the second treble and slip stitch under the two chain space so we're going to do a beginning shell in the same space so we can go back up to the beginning shell which starts off with three chain one treble two chain and two trebles So that's our beginning shell on row 3 made. Now we're going to chain 2. And then in this chain 2 space of the next shell we're going to work a shell. So it's 2 trebles. 2 chains. And 2 trebles. Then before we go to do the next shell, we have to chain two. And then shell in the next shell. Chain two. 
and two more traps. One, two. So after that we chain two again and then over then the next one and again another shell. Treble two, chain two and treble two. Then chain two and then shell and the last shell. Treble two chain two and treble two. So row three and change the work shell three times more. Turn, so we're doing nothing at the end of that there. Chain, turn, and chain three. So that's round three completed now. Round four. So round four, skip first treble, double crochet, and the next treble. chain three and double crochet into the next two chain space chain three one two three and double crochet in the next treble chain three and double crochet in the next chain two space so in the next two chain space work a double crochet two chain double crochet chain two and double crochet so when the two chain space is slightly different it's a double two chain and a double and then chain three one two three skip the next treble and double crochet in the following treble <coughs> so we're back to start again here now we're going to repeat chain three one two three double crochet in the next two chain space chain three one two three double crochet in the next treble chain three and then in the next two chain space you're going to work one double crochet two chains and one double crochet all under that two chain space <coughs> then it's back to three chain skip the next treble and double crochet in the next treble and we're back to start again which is back to the chain three then double crochet in the next two chain space then three chain then double crochet in the next treble then three chain one two three and then in the next two chain space we're going to work the treble a double two chain and a double so one double two chain and one double then chain three one two three skip the next treble and double crochet in the next treble and we're back up the top again so it's back to chain three double crochet in the next two chain space chain three double crochet in the next treble chain three <clears throat> and then double crochet in the chain space, two chain and double crochet in the chain space. And then chain three, skip the next treble and double crochet in the following treble. Chain three and double crochet in the next treble one double crochet in the two chain space three chain double crochet in the next treble three chain <clears throat> and then one double crochet in the third of the three chain from the beginning of the row 
the previous row. So you're finishing off there with one double crochet in the last chain three. <coughs> and then that's the first one complete. Clip off. Secure it. And then we're going to weave in the end. So um, make sure you leave a long enough piece that you can sew it on properly. So just going through the thick piece. Take it well down. So we're in the middle where it's not showing either side. And because we're going through the thick piece, it's quite difficult to give it a good tug. And then back in again. Then. Finish off in a thicker piece. And clip off the excess. <coughs> so second wing now so hold the angel head was facing you and join the thread and the other unworked so this time you're joining it under the second unused chain space because we're doing the reverse here so that time we must have one here so now we're missing one at the start of this one and we're going on now to the second unused chain space of the second shoulder on round 12 and then we're going to work the same as the first wing and we'll begin and get this set up with the right side chain five one two three four five so we're on the second wing and we're in row one <coughs> five chain counts as a treble and a two chain space one treble in the same space again and then in the next chain one space we're going to work one treble two chains and one treble and we're going to do that three times more so in the next chain one space one treble two chain and one treble And in the next space, <coughs> one treble, two chains, and one treble. So we'll do that until we have five. So it's one, two, three, four. So we have one more space. And that's one treble, two chain, and one treble. So we have five two chain spaces one two three four five and then we turn so that's row one of the second one completed and now we're in row two so row two is slip stitch under the first two chain space so we turn the work around and we're working back across it so slip stitch straight under the first one and then make three chain one two three Three, and then in the same space one treble we're here now two chain and one treble two trebles so the beginning of that row was slip stitch under the chain two space chain three treble one chain two treble two and we're going to do that now in each of the remaining shells. So we don't go on between the or sorry, we don't go on between the V's, we just go on the V itself. So and the next V stitch, treble two, one, two, chain two, and treble two. So it's two trebles, two chain, and two trebles. Oh, 
So we do the next wheel and the two chain space, treble two, chain two, and treble two. And then the last space, treble two. Chain two and treble two. So at the end of round two, we have shells, five shells, one, two, three, four, five shells made, and then we're going to turn on the row, row three. <coughs> so Row 3 is skip the first treble, slip stitch in the next treble, and in the 2 chain space. So when we turned, we slip stitch on the first, the, we missed the first treble, we slip stitch on the second treble, and we also slip stitch on the, um, the chain 2 space. We're going to now work a beginning shell, which is chain 3, 1 treble. Two chain and one treble, two trebles. Sorry, one, two. Now, before we go over to make the next shell, we've got to now introduce two chain. So, between the shells in this row, we have two chain and then we're on a shell again. So, the shell is two trebles. Two chain and two trebles. <coughs> then we chain two over in the next space, two trebles, two chains and two trebles. Two chains over in the next shell, shell on shell, two chains and two trebles. Chain two and then shell in the last shell. One, two, Two chains and two trebles. Two. Now, so we've got the end of row three, and we did that three times more. So we've got a chain three now before we turn one, two, three, and now we're on round four. <coughs> and round four is skip the first treble and double crochet in the next treble. So we're skipping the very first one and double crochet in the second one. Then we're making three chain and double crochet under the next two chain space. Then we're doing three chain and then we're double crochet under the next treble. Chain three and then under the two chain space one double crochet, two chain and one double crochet, three chain skip the next treble and double crochet on the following one then chain three one two three and double crochet in the chain space chain three double crochet in the next treble chain three double crochet chain two and double crochet chain three skip the next treble and double crochet in the next one chain three one two three double crochet in the two chain space <coughs> chain three skip the next treble and double crochet and then chain three, one, two, three, 
double crochet under the two chain space, two chain and double crochet in the and chain three, skip the next treble and double crochet, <coughs> then chain three, one, two, three, and we're back up here again, double crochet in the two chain space, chain three, double crochet in the next treble, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the two chain space, and we're here. And we're chaining two and double crochet in the same two chain space. So we're now making three chain one, two, three, double crochet in the next treble, chain three, one, two, three, double crochet in the next two chain space, three chain, double crochet in the next treble. And then three chain and double crochet in the third chain from the beginning of the last row and then pop off secure your end and then we're going to weave in that and we have just made and again go through the thick part so we bit stuff in your hands, but it's worth it because it keeps the cotton <coughs> in place. Just weave it through so that no thread show it, and then clip off the excess. So that's your angel complete now and you're ready at this stage now to um, stuffing it and block it so to stuffing it and block it you're going to get yourself a plastic bag preferably one of the seals pour your uh, liquid fabric stuffener into the bag and then immerse them your angel in the bag when you put your angel in the bag you'll have the fluid on there seal it up at the top and then squish it about them so that it's getting covered in the fluid and keep it in there for uh, overnight i would say 12 hours or more before you take it out when you take it